Yeah, I like that. Hey! So what's going on here? We've got a standard BV-138 reconnaissance plane with a pair of developmental ATO rocket engines attached. The footage is from 1942, and the video quality is great, the footage is absolutely rare, and the content is incredibly historically important. That's the kind of footage I like. First, we're going to continue looking at the Norwegian language ATW film reel, number one, from 1944, which shows normal BV-138s in Norway. And then we'll take a look at these ATO rockets being attached to the planes and the associated test flight. This is great stuff. If you want to see more, much more, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The Blomen Voss BV-138 Seedrache, or Sea Dragon, was a German long-range reconnaissance plane. This crew, stationed in Trondheim, Norway, is being decorated for completing 1,500 combat missions. Due to its shape, the plane was unofficially known as the Flying Clog. The BV-138 had a crew of six and could either carry a bomb load of 500 kilograms, 1,100 pounds, or transport 10 passengers. It had an unusual three-piston engine configuration with the main engine situated above the wing. It was armed with two powered and enclosed gun turrets with one positioned at the bow and the other at the stern. It had another unprotected MG position up front above the wing. Valtewerke is well known for the production of their rocket-assisted takeoff packs. Large, heavily laden aircraft could operate out of smaller airfields by having additional power packs adding thrust to the power of their engines. Here the ATOs are being prepared for use. The extra weight and drag of these external packs could be jettisoned and having fallen to the ground by parachute, the recollected packs were reusable. Seaplanes also use the ATO rocket packs. These film clips come from a collection of four reels of raw footage of the testing and use of the ATOs from 1941 to 44. It has a total run time of 29 minutes and 8 seconds. Here we see two being attached to a BV-138. Although Valtewerke developed them to a high standard early in the war, Luftwaffe crews at operational airfields tended to favor solid fuel rocket boosters as they were easier to store and did not require fueling before use. <laughs> 